Well, Superman and Lois continues with tried and true. Uh, this is an episode that uh, frames itself in the relationship of siblings. So right off the bat, we have Superman and Bizarro. <laughs> not, they're not siblings, but, well, they're twins. <laughs> and we get a little backstory on uh, this version of Bizarro, which is actually not Bizarro. He's sort of Shadow Superman. You know, from this other world. That's a mirror to the one they're on and all that. And we see something of his world, which is all creepy looking, uh, where uh, he had to fight his way, fight fight the military. He gets us. He apparently kills his version of Allison, takes her uh, pendant, and then uh, suits up in the doomsday suit. <laughs> suit. <laughs> and then flies away. And so he's telling Superman all this while in... Um, you know, uh, Morgan Edge's old fortress uh, with the uh, digital ghost of his mom. Uh, so Superman's like, well, I gotta figure this out. So then we get back into the soap opera of the other characters. So there's Lucy and Lois, and their father tries to get them back together, and it seems to go well. She's uh, meeting with the boys and everything, and uh, it all uh, seems well. Uh, meanwhile, there's Lana Lang's family all r messed up because she found out her husband cheated on her. Uh, he's all remorseful and begging her to forgive him, but she decides not to do that just at the moment. <laughs> so he has to move out, and that's how they leave it. Um, uh, meanwhile, the uh, the sons of Superman, uh, Jordan figures out that uh, Jonathan is uh, inhaling Kryptonite X, and that's the source of his powers. Uh, he wins a football game, but nothing out of the ordinary happens. It's just uh, he throws a great game, and they win and all that. But, uh, you know, Jordan's like, you, you lied to me, and all this sort of stuff. Um, and it, it sort of uh, stays that way. They are still a little open as to where this goes. Uh, but uh, he says, well, how'd you find out? And he says, well, you're hearing about it. It's, and you, everybody knows that p players are inhaling this stuff. So uh, they're probably about to get broken up by the police and everything. So, uh, boy, Jonathan's in trouble. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, but... You know, but there again, it's another element of two siblings at odds and all this sort of thing. Uh, so the reunion of Lois and uh, Lucy doesn't last long. They get in an argument and she storms off. Uh, meanwhile, um, Superman uh, has slowly and surely been running afoul of Sam Lane's uh, replacement. Um, and the pressure's on him to deliver, even though he does the absolute worst thing. I mean, the general says, we never had any problems with Superman with uh, General Lane. Now you come in and <laughs> there's problems. So, uh, But he's suspicious of Superman and doesn't trust him and finds out that Superman actually had Bizarro in his, and well, not his fortress, but uh, <laughs> doesn't help that it's Morgan Edge's fortress. But Superman doesn't have a fortress of solitude anymore. So... Uh, he's upset. His uh, his super soldiers had got killed, and uh, a mother at the funeral uh, blames him for it. So he's not thinking straight, I guess you could put it that way. And so he decides to uh, capture Superman until he reveals where he can find uh, the Bizarro Superman and bring him to justice. Well, so they lure Superman into this uh, hallway that's uh, got, uh, you know, I guess. So red solar radiation like the Krypton Sun uh, to weaken Superman and they attack him and they play out a mirror as it were from the scenes that opened the show where Bizarro Superman had to fight off his military and so now Superman's doing the same thing uh, but ultimately uh, I keep forgetting the new general's name but anyway he shoots Superman twice apparently uh, with the with Kryptonian with Kryptonite bullets and so now he's their prisoner. Uh, they lock him up, and uh, one of his lieutenants says, well, where, is he, where are you putting him? And I'm going to put him with his brother. So he, next episode, he'll be locked up with Morgan Edge. <laughs> and he'll probably have a thing where the brothers have to work together to break out <laughs> the super fugitives. And that's probably exactly what will happen. And ultimately, Morgan Edge will probably just run off and disappear. Um and that'll leave that open for later. But um, so, so far so good. 
uh, it, it's interesting stuff, and uh, we'll see where this Superman stuff goes. But um, again, this is another big rewriting of Bizarro and everything. He's not a clone created by Lex Luthor. He's from an alternate world and all that. Unless they reveal that, yes, he was indeed created by Lex Luthor in that world. But he doesn't sound anything like Bizarro. He kind of looks like him, but he he speaks perfect English and all that. It's not the backwards talk and all that sort of stuff. So he just has the opposite powers. Well, not totally opposite. He can fly, so <laughs> what's the opposite of that? He just stays on the ground all the time. <laughs> so but anyway, um, so uh, enough of, well, maybe not enough. It probably like some more action in it, you know, superheroics and whatnot. He does he do have a cool classic superhero, Superman rescue scene where he goes and saves uh, some people in Russia from an avalanche. So that's good. Um, but, yeah, it's more soap opera than superhero show, which is the nature of these shows, but it does it better than well then all of them really <laughs> uh, and of course uh, it costs money to do Superman saving the world stuff so uh, this is probably about as good as it's going to get as far as that goes so anyway there we go uh, another pretty good episode of Superman and Lois <laughs>